this is a diagram we'll be using for the integration of the access point into the existing network. Uh, if you'll be following my video, you would see that this is an existing uh, diagram that we used to integrate the 40 switch and uh, the 40 gates and also to Fortinac setting up the isolation network, uh, the environment network, production environment, and the switch ports, the VLANs, uh, and all that. So we are adding 40 AP to the network and 40 AP will be in, on the VLAN 10 of uh, the network. So the VLAN 10 is the production network, as you can see, is a production network and uh, we'll create like two SSIDs, one for the production environment and the other for the guest uh, environment. So the production one will be a bridged mode to the LAN uh, interface or not LAN network, uh, taking 11.1 slash 24, while the guest one will be taking uh, VLAN 120. So let's get started. So 40 AP has been integrated to 40 gates. And if you don't know how to do that, uh, kindly watch my videos on how to integrate 40 AP to 40 gates. So we have 40 AP integrated into 40 gates and we have two SSIDs um, set up. The first SSID has to be with the guest network while the second one has been bridged to the local uh, network which is VLAN 10 that we are going to use for production uh, network so we have tunnel mode and we have local bridge mode so what we want to do now is to integrate the 40 which um to uh, the 40 NAC. so we set up snmp coming to systems uh snmp so ensure that this uh, snmp agent is toggled on then you set up snmp version one and two so looking at this we have the ip address of the fortinac uh, management interface 10.15.13.150 then 2555 then ensure all other things are checked uh, most especially most of these things then once this is done click ok then apply so after this, you also want to set up admin profile API coming to systems administrators. So we've already set up an API. The, the way to set it up is, to, is to just to create, then create a REST API, then give it a profile, I mean users, give it a name, then uh, un uncheck this, uncheck this, then click OK. Once you click OK, uh, API keys will be generated for you. So let me just regenerate this API and, and, and receive it. So I copy this. So copy the API somewhere and you will still use it. Click OK. So once this is generated, so let's go to Fortinac. So on Fortinac, you come to Network Inventory then under wireless ap here you would add okay this is also click okay so now we've successfully onboard this so now we have our ap also included